Hey, so what we're going to do here is show how to take this uh, image that we just created inside Photoshop and upload it to the Awaken website to be part of the rotating image banner at the top of the site. First step is to log in to the Joomla administrator, which you can go to the name of your website slash administrator. Okay, so that gets you to the control panel. And what I've done on the Awaken City Church website is uh, <clears throat> create this so that what you actually use is the Joomla Media Manager. So you go to Site Menu, Media Manager. Go into the Flash Rotator folder right there on the left. And this is where you upload your stuff. Okay. Scroll down, you click the Browse button and locate the file, which is newpic.jpg. Click Open and Start Upload. And uh, see, it gives you a little, a little confirmation upload complete. And there it is, right there. Okay, so now that we've uploaded, what we want to do is go to see th this right here is a module that I installed into the the Joomla uh, back end that that automatically rotates images through. Okay, so what we're going to do is go and manage that module via the module manager. Amazing. Uh, and flash rotator. Flash because it uses a Flash movie to do it and it obviously rotates images through. So go to Flash Rotator and what you'll notice in the description I've actually written in a quick little tutorial for you uh, that, that reminds you of what each thing is uh, that you're looking at. Okay, so what you're going to do is you can ignore, largely what you, you can ignore module parameters right here. You want to go to Advanced Parameters. Uh, number of images is set to three right now because there's only three uh, pictures that we want to be displayed here. So we're going to add a fourth uh, for this tutorial video. So I'm going to choose four. Okay, uh, link four. Okay, so title four um, is this is the title of this image, which right now is not showing up because we have the the navigation feature disabled but it's probably good to give everything a title because if you ever turn on the navigation you want it to say something that makes sense um, so I'm gonna put tutorial image okay the link is you know if someone clicks on it where do you want them to be taken uh, right now we don't want them to go anywhere so we actually have that the navigation again is turned off but uh, if you wanted it to link somewhere like let's say you put something on there that's a picture of people giving out food to the homeless in Greensboro and maybe you want that to link to an article on the, the Awakened website that talks about the homeless ministry well then you'd put the, that link right here okay but we don't have links set up right now to work uh, under module parameters so we can leave that alone and just if you do see images linkable you would choose yes if you wanted things to link okay right now they're set to no okay so back to the advanced parameters. We've given it a title. We don't need to worry about link. Image 4, you click that drop down menu and you can see it automatically looks into the Joomla Media Manager and it sees you've got newpic.jpg in there. So we choose that. I'm going to click apply because I don't want to leave this page yet. Go back to the front end and refresh the page. And it should be the fourth picture in the image rotator. So we'll just wait and see if it works. Always a good idea to preview it to make sure it does what you want it to do. Hopefully with that Photoshop file the overspray will be the same. Yep, see it worked. There you go, there it is. There's our little collage, a random collage. So to undo that if you ever need to remove an image from that rotator, you just go to Advanced Parameters. And if it was the last one you did, all you got to do is change is knock it down a number. So now it's not going to show anything beyond image 3. Um, if it was, like let's say you wanted to remove image 2, what you would do is just uh, put something else in image 2 instead of what's there now. Um, so there you go, you just play with those. Module class suffix you want to leave as flush uh, unless the, the overall design of the site changes. Okay, and that's it. And then if you want to play around with these, you can. Uh, what you would do is 
like Ken Burns effect, if you want things to do that zoom in and out, click that, choose apply, wait for that to load, and then reload the front page, and you'll see, see it does the zoom, pan and zoom thing, um, which right now we have turned off because we wanted to have that overspray effect. And see what it's doing is it's moving that, and so you lose that whole uh, illusion that the background of the site is bleeding over. So I'm going to turn that back off. Click Save because I'm done inside this. When you click Save inside of of anything you're anytime you're editing and you click Save, it'll write what you've done to the database and then take you out of that page. So that's why the Apply button is there because when you click Apply, it writes it to the database, but you don't leave that page. Pretty handy. I'm going to click Refresh. You'll see the Ken Burns is now turned off. So there you go. It's a basic overview of using the flash rotator um, module and using the Joomla Media Manager to upload uh, images for that inside the flash rotator module.